Hey everybody, Three Drinks Down. I'm Nate. I'm James. And today we're going to find out if Calumet Farms 16 years will win, place, show, or finish in the rear. Today we're going to be reviewing Calumet Farms 16 year old blended bourbon. Uh, obviously it's 16 year old age stated. Uh, and it is from Kentucky, but it is believed to be from a single rack of bourbon that says 19 barrels. Um, obviously, it's a blended product as well with that information at 106 proof. So for those of you familiar, Calumet Farms has put out a 14 year product a couple years ago and a 15 year product. And while it's unclear that those are the same distillates, it's assumed that they are. And in fact, this year's actually is after citation. Uh, they've made it a habit of making horses tied to these particular releases. Um, and that just kind of goes with the shtick of this particular series. It's kind of neat. Citation as a horse was an amazing horse, had a 16 race win streak, very decorated first million dollar winning horse in horse racing in the United States, at least. Um, so I guess we're going to find out will it win place or show and is it worth a million bucks? Yeah. Is it going to be uh, as good as Citation was? Um, so no. that's a hard, uh, hard feat to, to beat. So we always like to tell you guys where this is at when we're tasting it in terms of the bottle fill. And in this case, this bottle has been opened. It's a little bit below the shoulder, so it's not a fresh crack. So let's keep that in mind as we go through the nosy. Now, I have had this before um, with Nate, of course, off camera, uh, which is you know part of why it is lower than a uh, fresh crack, of course. Um, I really like where this nose is at right now. Not a caramel. I mean, caramel is such an, uh, just a mundane word, but it really is there. Yeah, but it's almost like caramel corn. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, get like I, the high, like the corn content on this is absolutely there. For a 16 year old, you don't expect that whatsoever. Yeah. I do get a touch herbal on the edges. Nothing crazy like a major rye herbal, but just kind of a little something that's it's hitting me. I'm not quite sure what it is. I definitely can get there with that uh, for sure. I'm just not sure what kind of herb it is exactly. It's not meant for me. Mm -mm. Not dill, because you would think dill is rye, right? Typically, right, right. typically. I mean, it could be anything. Interesting. Very, it's a very pleasant nose. Um, for a sixteen-year product, I'm not getting a ton of oak. It's there, uh, and underneath everything, it's there. Not what you would might expect as as that that type of oak, but it does seem a a little dusty, for lack of a better word. It's starting to get to those reaches now. My tasting with dusty is very limited to be very honest with you. So what I what I recall off some of the older product is, yeah, you are starting to get some of that age kind of really just sitting in there and that mellow out, right? Right. 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 It's not the most impressive nose. I'm not going to lie with you. It's not blowing me away uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It's nice. Um, it has a decent amount of heat to it um, for me once you really get in there. I wouldn't place it above 106, though. No, it feels right for sure. Um, I would say it's, if you were to ask me where this was at, that's where I would have placed it roughly. Hmm. All right, are we ready to get into the uh, the mouthing as they call it? Mouthfeel accountability is everything. It's everything. This could have a decent amount of rye in it. Because absolutely, I mean, the first thought was Herbal, right? Herbal, minty on the front to mid palate. Yeah, I do get mint on the palate. Not, I said I didn't get it on the nose, but I do get it here. But I also get that big caramel thing in the finish. That's what kind of is lingering for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not a ton of oak. Not a ton of oak, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> but it's, oh man, this is my favorite part about this is definitely the finish. How long this is. Mm -hmm. It's holding on. It's really holding on. It's really nice. And it didn't give me a huge hug. So like for that, so those two things to be true, it's very, it's an interesting product for me in that respect. Oh, it's still there. It's still hanging out. It's still really nice. I don't even need to take another sip. I am going to go in for a second though. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you said you don't want to, but I feel like the second is really going to drive home that, drive that home. For sure. I was just kind of savoring that, uh, that long, long finish, which was nice. To me, I do not love that immediate palette Mm -mm. into that mid palette. It's the oak and the mint that don't play well together. They don't really at all to me. Mm -mm. Um, but I will say as a mouthfeel stickler, mouthfeel is excellent. Oh yeah. It's superb. Again, finish long, my favorite part about it. So basically if you just cut this. It's a the, touch astringent though too. That's the other part. A little part. bit, yeah. which is surprising because you do have that caramel corn thing in there too, which is definitely like that little bit of sweetness. So it's mm -hmm. like, there's the thing about this. I feel like there's like a lot of different things kind of vying for your attention all at once, and they're not necessarily gelling for me. 
Yeah, I don't, I'm not, this is not something uh, I, I think will hold the review part of this, but this is not something I would have expected out of this particular bottle. And having tried it once before uh, on the neck pour, so to speak, right? Neck pours are real, guys. Um, it's definitely turned into something that I is more enjoyable than that first taste. Candidly, uh, I would tell you right now, like we start off this video by saying, does it win, place your show or, or bring up the rear? I can't say it finishes in the money for me. I would agree, um, especially for the price point for this bottle. Although for retail pricing, you know, for this type of product that you don't really see, you don't see 16 year old products out there. This is what, typically around 150. This is 149 right? retail. Yeah, 149 uh, retail. So that's basically, it's a little less than $10 uh, for yeah, a year. It's on par for what you'd expect for per year. Um, it's not a it's not a tail end Charlie either. It's not gonna finish the race last for me. Um, I, I, I certainly stand on saying it's a good product, but uh, I feel like what we're hearing and seeing in the rest of the community, it, our palates are clearly different than theirs. Because I'm not saying this is terrible, but I'm also not saying it's like one of the most mind blowing things I've had in a long time. It's yeah, not. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, and no, I don't want to, I don't want to dog anyone's taste or, or or what they what they perceive. Of course, that's kind of the whole point of the show. Everyone has different palates, um, and we're here to explore all of this together. But this just isn't my jam. You know, no. And again, it's not bad. Uh, I'll resonate 100% with Nate here. It is not bad uh, by any means. Um, uh, I'm not racing to go get out another one. You know, I'm not trying to beat the uh, citation here. Not for my own personal consumption. Now, I mean, you know, if you're a speculator, maybe, right? Who knows? Sure. So. Yeah. I mean, again, if people are saying this is going to be great. And well, there's a lot of people who really love this. We're kind of the outsiders. Then, you know. I will say that it's not rinse and repeat from a lot of these, like what you're getting with like a Mashville one or two and things like that. So from that standpoint, it's ultra unique. Would agree. But it's not hitting me right. It's just not. There's actually a slight minerality to it the longer it sits. I really want to find out like who distilled this. Like what, what distiller distilled this? What the Mashville was like? I want to know more about this just because I'm interested. Yeah, um, and that's what kind of disappoints me a little bit because um, you know, you, you see this product and you would think they've done a wonderful job packaging it and, and actually uh, the story behind Citation, just go that step further. Now, maybe they're tied to an NDA of some sort. We don't know that, right? Possibly. Potentially. Yep. Um, and that could happen. But um, for me, uh, is this a buy at retail? I'm myself. I'm going to pass if I see this on the shelf going forward for myself. Yeah, I just bought two, unfortunately. Um, I wish I did. Email the show if you'd like to. <laughs> if you can't find one and you're interested. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I have yeah, one. Nate at three drinks down. Okay. You email the show and you do tr truly want uh, Calumet 16 for retail. You gotta show us that you've liked and subscribed before you can get that bottle. With that being said, make sure you like and subscribe and leave some comments down below about why you think we're wrong about Calumet 16. I just want to know why James's keyboard is right here. That's what I want to know. I mean, if everybody's keyboard was right up here, right? It would be way easier. I don't you know? know about that. I don't know about that. Imagine you have like oh. your screen here, keyboard here. Oh. I would tell you that this one was probably an odds on favorite when the betting window closed and when they loaded the horses at the gates. For me, this one came in like fifth or sixth place. It probably led at the very beginning because it showed some promise on the nose. And then as you got to the mouth, feel and taste, <laughs> you're like, oh, it's fading down the, down the back stretch. Oh, that was the best part. Maybe it was trying, you know, for me, I think it's the opposite. It was like, oh, it was a bad start. It's kind of slow. Oh, but the, coming up in the end, it, it, it just falls short. short. Okay. I think we're both saying that there were <laughs> things we liked about it and things we didn't. But in the horse race of bourbon, it doesn't finish in the money for us. Give this a B minus. I'm going to give this a, we're going letters. a six and a half. I'm going to give this a three and a half James is out of five. Correct. Yeah, we're putting a little graphic. We're not gonna do that, but we could. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Don't tempt me. And this was a review for, for you. you.